President Obama's jobs bill failed a key vote in the Senate last night. Even two members of his own party voted against it. Well, John Tester, the Democratic senator from Montana, explained in a statement, I can't support tax gimmicks that do little to create jobs. Well, now that the bill has stalled in the Senate, what does the White House plan to do to help spur job creation? Well, joining us now is the director of President Obama's National Economic Council, Gene Sperling. Great to have you, Gene, on Street Smart. Uh, you know, as the president said today, he's not taking no for an answer. So what is the plan going forward at this point? Well, our economy can't afford no. Our economy can't afford doing nothing, not with 9 percent unemployment, not with projections that we're going to stay at that level of employment and have weak growth. Of course, we have to do something. And while it's unfortunate that the bill was not passed in its completion, I think you're now going to see a lot of very important questions asked of those who said no. Uh, are they against cutting payroll taxes for every small business when we know that would cut costs? Do, is, do we, are they against a cutting payroll taxes in half for every working American where that would be $1,500 per uh, family making 50000 That's more money in people's pocket. That's more customers in those small business places. Are they against uh, uh, helping prevent another two, 300000 teacher layoffs? I think what you'll see now is you'll see Senator uh, Majority Leader Harry Reid start putting up some of those individual items, and we'll start having a national debate. Uh, do we really want to do nothing? Is this economy really good enough? I think the public overwhelmingly agrees with the president. We need action on jobs. Uh, uh, Sitting on our hands is not a response to economic, uh, the ch economic challenges we face right now. Gene, there were some changes already made to the original draft uh, that went up for the vote last night. You, only got, you needed 60 votes. You only got 50. Did you have any sense or w what the major sticking points might be, or did the, did the vote come as a surprise? Well, I think, you know, obviously we were pleased to get the overwhelming, nearly all Democrats. I mean, I, this is my, uh, you know, 10th, 11th year in administration. It's not very often that you put a bill up that gets such a overwhelming majority, even of your own party. Uh, this is a democracy. People have different views. But I think you saw great support from Democrats. And I think very disappointing that Republicans decided to just do a party line vote. You know, at other times when our economy has been in difficult shape, people argued over the details, but they agreed we ought to do something. And right now, all we have heard on, from the Republican side is no. And no is not satisfactory. We need something substantial, something bold. The American Jobs Act has been estimated to create up to 1.9 million jobs by independent forecasters. So far, we haven't seen any plan from those who've opposed this bill, that in those independent forecasters estimate create any jobs at all. Nothing we've seen so far. Is there any plan at this point to push the bill ahead sort of piecemeal as opposed to doing it uh, all inclusive, as it were? Well, exactly. And I think that's what I was getting at when I said now people are going to have to, you know, make very clear what they're against. I think that you will see uh, Majority Leader uh, Reid put forward individual items. And that will, I think, will really, in a sense, smoke people out because now people can't just vote against this in the abstract or try to make it just a political vote. They have to explain why when we've had 300,000 teachers laid off, when this is hurting uh, unemployment, when this is hurting uh, class sizes, why would people vote against that? We'll have a discussion about things like that and putting construction workers back, modernizing our schools. And I think the more we debate this, the more you're going to see that mainstream America supports the president's overall American Jobs Act and the more pressure there is going to be for the naysayers to come forward with their own affirmative plan or they have to make the case that at 9.1 percent unemployment with projections of very weak growth next year, the right public policy is to do nothing. The President of the United States, President Obama, believes strongly we need bold action on jobs, and I think that's where the overwhelming amount of, where the overwhelming percentage of the American public is, and when they look at the specifics, preventing teacher layoffs, school construction, tax cuts for small businesses, you're going to find those individual items have overwhelming public support. Gene, which parts of the bill are on the president's uh, priority list at this point? Are we looking at sort of spending or stimulus measures, or will he also be pushing ahead in a piecemeal, piecemeal fashion ways to pay for it? 
Well, I think that, you know, the president has put forward a plan that was completely paid for, and I, my expectation is that um, the, the Senate will put forward individual components and make sure that they are paid for. So, you know, I think the president thinks each component of this is very important. That's why we put the whole package together, and it fits because, again, as I said, when you're cutting payroll taxes for typical workers, when you're putting $1,500 more in their pocket, of course that's helping them deal with higher gas prices prices, higher food prices. That also means they have more money to shop and buy and services from small businesses who then have more customers to then increase their hiring. That's the positive cycle, the positive momentum we need. If at the same time we can start to see con small construction companies, instead of laying off workers, hiring more workers because they know they're going to be rebuilding schools, rebuilding bridges, that again puts more people to work and it starts giving confidence that we're going to have the, the demand necessary for companies, both small and large, to start hiring again. That confidence that there will be increased demand is just essential right now. All right. Thanks so much, Gene. We have to end it there. That was Gene Sperling.